So check this out. I didn't think I'd see one of these here because quite frankly, I haven't seen any of these on dealership lots anywhere around me, but I have viewed several of these tab little travel trailers. These are super compact teardrop shaped travel trailers, but may not actually be as compact as you think it is, but it is definitely a small unit. But we're gonna take a look at this one because this is a pre-owned model and this one's for sale. Well, let's take a look at the interior of this and see what we like about it and perhaps what we'd like to see different. We'll be right back. So let's do our normal step of taking a look at the numbers on this unit. This has a cargo capacity of 1,010 pounds. I do not see a GVWR sticker right there. It's probably hidden somewhere on here. I don't know where they placed the sticker. I'd imagine the GVWR on this thing is probably around 3,000 pounds. Maybe a little bit heavier than that. Maybe it was removed, but I do not see the sticker on here. Interesting. Anyways, this is a tab travel trailer. This thing's super compact. Really cool design to it. Ideally, you're supposed to be able to use these handles and kind of move the thing around, even though I would never try to do that. It's definitely a unit that if you have a SUV or a small pickup, Canyon, Colorado, Ranger, that type of thing, you might be interested in. They are known to be very well built in terms of construction materials, construction practices, but more importantly, utilizing some products and techniques that you typically would see in Europe. You don't see a lot of these around here, and if you do, they're generally gonna be in the West Coast because people that get these tend to go out and kind of do that one up from primitive camping in something like this. You have your little storage here for your propane cans. Looks like it can house two of them. I don't even know the year of this. I could probably go ask someone, but that's no fun. Nice fender skirts here. You have storage under here and your battery disconnect as well. Let's hop inside of this. I don't see a model number on this either. I wonder if this has been debadged because it looks like it had vinyl graphics going down the side that were removed. You can also see that right here as well. You have your nice little step on the bottom. Going inside this unit, it's a very interesting layout. Very interesting. Interesting use of storage. You have this really kind of curved shaped dinette area here. And it looks like this slides, which it does. That's definitely interesting. On this side, you have your controls, air conditioning controls and such. Over here, you have your little basin sink, storage underneath, more storage right here. It's a pretty cool little setup. I mean, overall, this is definitely too small for what I would use it for, but let's say you just wanted something you could take out to the beach, maybe spend a couple nights out on the beach. This would be a pretty interesting option for that. Over here's your entertainment area, your lighting, you have your TV here at the back. This kind of folds up and turns into a skylight. See, the use of really interesting designs is definitely common in these. Again, they're utilizing just about every space they can. You can see the use of really nice grades of plywood. And then to lock it, you press that button in. See, when have you seen that on an RV? That's really cool. Going back here to the bathroom area. You have a mirror that's been mounted right here. I don't know if that came with it or if they put it there. This is a wet bath unit. So the sink actually folds down right here, which is kind of an interesting design. There's a good amount of room in here though, so it doesn't necessarily feel overly cramped and the space right here to take a shower isn't overly cramped as well. This is definitely bigger than what you see in some like vans, class Bs, and it definitely feels more roomy than I've seen most wet baths. This is actually a really good design for maybe the back of a toy hauler even. Really cool wet bath design. You have your shower head up there, adjustable rack, a lot of storage on the wall there. Again, more storage up here. Nice big window up front. You have these little round windows here and then on this side, they give you some storage inside of there. That's really cool as well. 
This is a nice little floor plan. Again, I don't know how much time you'd want to spend inside of a unit like this. This is definitely something that if you were going to get, you'd want to probably camp with it. You'd probably want to go to areas where you can spend more time outside of the unit and then just kind of come back and recover inside. But just look at this. So this is an interesting example of different types of materials. So you don't just pull this open. There's a button right here you press up right there and it unlocks it. But that is really cool. And you can see everything is very nice quality plywood. Lots of storage just about everywhere. This is an interesting setup. And I think that people who would get into something like this, again, are folks who might travel to Moab, folks who might travel on the West Coast to Arizona, Nevada, and they want something that they can pull behind maybe a Toyota Tundra or a you know mid-size SUV or full-size SUV and have the ability to store their bikes in here whatever they need and then just have a place to come back cook a meal eat a meal get out of the rain take a shower watch some TV without feeling as if they are getting out of that you know primitive style camping too much this is definitely a step up from primitive camping and it's cool it's a quality way of doing it in an RV that I think appeals to a lot of folks Anyways, guys, I'd love to hear your feedback on something like this. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.